The magistrate in charge of the case said he's frustrated with another delay. But after multiple competency hearings, the prosecution and defense need more time to prepare for the adult court petition and the trial. Earlier this year, six-year-old Grace Ross was found dead in the wooded area near a new Carlisle apartment complex. And facing murder charges for this is a 15-year-old boy. Chief Deputy Prosecutor Christopher Frank says both sides need more time because a trial could have been scheduled as early as Thursday and Friday. The determination for waiver was made after the determination on competency was made. And so that really left a very short timetable to prepare for a waiver hearing in the time space in which the trial was set. The court is still trying to figure out witness availability before they set more dates. And Frank says the next step is determining if the 15 year old will be tried in adult court. And it includes uh, probable cause to believe that the child committed the act as well as evidence on the best interests of the child and the community itself. And that's obviously where the prosecution comes in, is that we, we are tasked with present, or protecting the community. While Ross's family wasn't at the hearing, Frank says they agree with the prosecution pushing to send the case to adult court. I don't speak for the family, of course, but I do speak with the family, and they were, uh, they were pleased with that determination. Frank says he understands the magistrate's frustration, but says it's important to complete all tasks for the trial in order to make sure justice is fairly served. Making the decisions in the proper order and considering all the information, you know, you could go off and make your decisions all in the front end, but you don't have the proper information at that time to ensure that you're seeking justice and not just going with what might be expeditious or popular or something of that nature. Now, the trial could happen in the next couple months, but the hearing for the petition to adult court needs to come first. In the newsroom, I'm Erica Finke, WSBT 22 News.